Okay, so today, uh, out of this box of junk parts, I'm going to attempt to salvage this dead OS 12 CV that I got in that RC10 GT uh, last week. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And this is my camera mount. <laughs> Every time you guys see me filming right here, there's a piece of packing tape and my Galaxy S5. So what we're going to do is I've already cleaned this crank uh, with a little bit of scotch Brighton sandpaper. Just enough. Never clean this part. Just this part. And don't do it here or here. Just the middle. It did look like this one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the connecting rod from a 15, we're going to use the pucks from the 15, and we're going to use a cylinder pinch, and we're going to try and get this old piece of shit back together. So, uh, just bear with me, but yeah, this is my box. Of, there's fucking everything in there. Got it. There's, you name it, it's in there. Anyways, let's get at it. Okay, so today we're going to be assembling the parts with castor oil because I don't have any after oil left, but let's uh, just go like this and get the fuck out of here. So the crankcase isn't in terribly great shape. It is all kind of if my fucking phone would focus. You can see the damage on the back there. Uh, I did clean this up a little bit, and the bearings actually feel like really, really nice and smooth, surprising at how much damage this thing has sustained. So we have our somewhat clean crankshaft, which is from a completely different motor. I think it's from a 15. So we're going to drop a little castor oil on that rear bearing, you know. I don't care if this runs or not, this is basically just an experiment, I'm not saying this is the correct way to rebuild a nitro motor out of used parts, I don't recommend rebuilding nitro engines out of used parts unless that's all you've got. Like it's a really old engine there's no parts available for or something. So we're gonna, well that crank actually goes in and out. Well, it feels pretty good actually. Not too shabby. Right. Let's move on here a little bit. That can hang out over there for a bit. Found some screws to use. Better screws. Now we got... Okay, so we got here... The piston... Out of a 15, which is... The, or the, well, the piston's not the same, but the 12 connecting rod and 15 connecting rod are the same. If you notice, there's my sleeve and my pinch. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to salvage these little pucks. Right. Ah, focus, you bastard. Right there. We're going to try and pull those off to use on the 12 wrist pin. Oops, don't fucking lose those things ever. Anyways, they're right there. Okay, so we'll get to that in a minute. Now we're going to focus on the cylinder that is in my pincher. This is actually a pinch for an 18 CVR. And this thing is totally not focusing. Anyways, so there's a pinch for an 18 CVR. It's really cool. It actually fits a 12 CV as well. So just to keep that in mind for anyone out there that has a 12 CV that has really bad compression or it's just completely wore out, you can order one for an 18 CVR and it will fit. It won't fit with a 15, but it'll fit with a 12. So what we're going to do is you line up the notch in the sleeve with the notch in the pinch, right? And then you put the Allen key in there and you crank on it. You don't want to crank too hard. You want to crank a little bit. And you want to rotate that notch 180 so it's over here so you pinch it evenly. If you go too far, you screwed yourself because there ain't no going back once you've overdone it. So I crank down on it. Not overly hard, but hard enough. 
Because if you over pinch your sleeve, your piston will never fit again. Always check fitment after each squeeze. Well, I think that one little squeeze did it. <laughs> well, I'll see here. second here. <coughs> I pushed it too far now I can't get it out. Alright, so that's fixed. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it didn't take much. It just took a little three quarters of a turn squeeze on this and it actually kind of overdid it a little bit. So this might not work. It might work. I don't know. This is just an experiment. These parts are all garbage anyway, so we're just going to run with what we've got here. So we'll get that wrist pin out of there. And that side's got the scratch on it. That side's got the scratch on it. So we'll put dab caster oil. Both sides. Yeah, I did overdo the pinch a little bit and I didn't even squeeze it that hard. I just goes to show you some of these are softer than others, so you have to be really careful. Otherwise, you just could screw yourself like I think I just did, but we will see. Because you can't unpinch it once you've done it too tight. Now, if I can get out a little piece of Teflon in there. Might be able to with my tiniest Allen key I have. There we go. And we'll salvage the pucks from the 15. Put them in there. You have to have these little Teflon pucks in the uh, CV engines. Well, the CVX and CV engines, not the CVR, because I use a clip. Uh, or what'll happen is your wrist pin will float over and hit the cylinder walls and destroy your engine on you. I know this because I've done it once before. So now we have usable pucks. We have some pinch on the sleeve. Probably a little bit too much, but whatever. <laughs> I'll fucking just ream it together until it works. Like I said, this is an experiment. This isn't you know, the right way to do this is completely ass backwards. There's that other connecting rod that's not for this engine at all. Oh, what are we doing here? Eight minutes. Oh, we might be okay. Maybe. I know with these cylinders and pistons <laughs> that if there's any kind of shit anywhere on the cylinder walls or the piston, even a piece of hair... It ain't gonna want to go back together. No. This is, like I said, just an experiment, more or less. Yeah, there's some dirt somewhere because it won't freaking move. Yeah, see the dirt? Yeah, it's no good. So, what we're gonna do. This is probably going to be a two-part video because my phone's going to run out and I can't make a video more than 14 minutes long because YouTube. For some stupid friggin' reason. Anyway, screw tube. So we're literally just going <laughs> to just pour some alcohol on that sleeve. I'm just going to grab a Q-tip and give it a swirl. And we're going to take our piston. Do the same thing. And one of the pucks fell out somewhere. Shit. Oh, I found it. Actually, oh, my other light turned on finally. Yay. I don't know if this engine's ever gonna run again. It might. Uh, if it does, it'll be cool. Like I said, I'm just kind of 
just decking around here for something to do today because I literally have nothing better to do today. So we're gonna piss around with this junk. And my puck fell out again. Pause just for a second. Okay, that took a little decking around, but uh, yeah, you got pinch in both directions now. How are we doing? 10 minutes and 28 seconds. All right. So I might have enough time to get the cylinder head on here. Uh, there's that clutch that I really like. Anyways, so we got a cylinder head. I think these are the coolest looking cylinder head there is for RC engines. Looks like a transformer or something like that. Anyway. <laughs> Fucking cool. <coughs> Hang on a sec, I forgot my oil can. Okay, we back again. So we got some used but good screws some used but good head screws that is there's one let's find the rest another one that one there well there was a fourth one here somewhere what do you think we're on a three head screws <laughs> don't think so uh, ah here we go so we're going to use the wrong head gasket because why not and we're also going to use this oil here which is what I put on all my screws just because I don't like putting steel screws into aluminum without any oil uh, this is just a mixture of automatic transmission fluid and kerosene pretty basic but it works and uh, here's a tip if your head gasket keeps falling off and you're trying to put your cylinder head back on just take a not a lot, but just a little kind of skiff of castor oil. And put your, your head gasket back on there. So it'll stay for you. Next, we're going to put... And of course, it's not going to, so fuck it. We're going to stick our head screws in our cylinder head. The parts are getting tougher and tougher to find for this engine, so... I have a few new parts laying around, but I don't want to bust them out on something that's a piece of junk quite yet. I'd rather save those for my other one that's in really nice shape. You know, spare piston and sleeve and all that shit. This is just, like I said, this is an experiment. Just to see what's going to happen. Okay, so. I'm getting ready to slap her together. A little oil in that head gasket. We're gonna have to cut this off here any minute now. Because screw tube. Blame them, not me. Actually, let's just do that now. Alright, part two is coming. 